Hi, I'm Thomas Coffey with Blue Ridge Adventure Vehicles. This is a 2007 uh, Dodge Sprinter cargo van, low roof, 144 wheelbase. This client, uh, you know, brought the van in. It was completely stripped in the rear end. It was just, just a cargo van, no windows, um, nothing, you know. She's basically building the van out to you know retire and live in and travel so we've created a camper that gives her everything that she needs to hit the road so really what we've added on the exterior is a cr lawrence venting window and the sliding door it's an awning style window that cranks out uh, the good thing about those is that it'll shed water off when you want ventilation and if it's raining a lot of the other windows are half sliders or vertical sliders they're great too but when you open them and it's raining, you're going to get water inside. So that's why we chose that. On the roof, I've uh, got a Coleman Mach 8 air conditioning unit. Um, it's a 9000 BTU. It's the lowest profile unit on the market. Um, you, you'll get options when you buy one, whether to get a black or white one. We just chose a white one that matches the color of the van. Uh, on the, also on the roof, I've got a max air ventilation fan. It's the uh, 7000K. So it's a white white fan to match the exterior. Also has a remote control that gives you a lot of uh, information that you normally wouldn't get with a manual model, such as uh, you know interior room temperature, what speed the fan's at, whether it's bringing air in or out, um, and uh, th those settings are all displayed on the LCD uh, remote control. Also, there's 200 watt ZAMP solar system on the roof. So I've maximized the roof layout with 200 watt panels, the air conditioner, and the max air fan. Really doesn't leave you anything else, uh, room for anything else. She does have some factory roof rails that are in the roof. If she wanted to go back and add a roof rack or an awning or something like that, she could. Side mounted ladders, tons of accessories that fit those roof tracks. So, it's beneficial when you get your van or order your van it has it it's not the end of the world because there's aftermarket kits to retrofit your van to having those roof rails key components that would either come stock or factory are going to be that rear step it's going to make it easier to get in and out of the vehicle also having a receiver hitch with the trailer connections uh, so this van already came equipped with that but that's something we can always add and put on later on this side of the vehicle, we, we chose to go with the 30 amp plug. It's a really a 30 amp system. This is gonna power um, the van on shore. It also is connected to the inverter, so it's an automatic transfer that you could run um, you know, all your systems through the inverter and it'll automatically switch over for you. There's an adapter uh, that goes to this that you can go from 30 to 15, and there's a number of adapters that work, but we did supply her with an adapter. This van is equipped with uh, an inverter system, so it will run AC systems um, without being plugged in. The only thing it will not run is that air conditioning unit. It just takes too much power. This is on a 2500 chassis too, by the way. I feel like either the 25 or the 3500 is a good chassis to start with. Kind of coming up into the cab area, this is kind of all stock except for the stereo unit. And what we did is we added a passenger side swivel clip on, on this seat right here. The seat around in 180 degrees. Now you've got seating for about here. A lot of times on these swivel kits, you know, you just got to. Um, fit the seat belt to the swivel kit. The thing I like about this is it doesn't get tangled up and it's not connected to the seat. Now uh, coming into the inside. So I worked closely with the client to figure out exactly what she wanted and try to help her design and come up with a list of items that she felt was most beneficial to her so she could be living off this on the road. So we started with a uh, Insulating the van, um, the whole inside has been coated with rattle mat sound insulation. And on top of that, I went with Havelock wool. So the floors had sound insulation, the walls have sound insulation. 
the ceiling has got the sound insulation, so we coated the whole thing. A lot of people only do small areas or little rectangles, but we literally coat the whole van with, with the sound insulation. And then the ceiling's got the have lock, the walls have got the have lock. The floor itself has a dynamat that's uh, applied to the bottom of the subfloor between the uh, sound insulation and the subfloor. So it really is, it's a little bit of insulation. It may not be the greatest, but what it does is doesn't uh, increase the height of the floor, which would decrease the height of the interior space that you would have. You know? Talk about the floor. This is a rubber coin flooring. It's from G Floor. It, it comes in a number of different colors. I like this gray. It kind of goes well with the, the factory interior on the Sprinter. Uh, so when I made the floor, decided to leave this a little bit long so it could accommodate this cabinet to sit on top of it into the step area. But also gives you a little bit of storage. You could put shoes and whatnot underneath this floor cubby here. A lot of cabinets. She's got overhead cabinets all across the driver's side uh, for maximum storage, you know. Most of your kitchen and your pantry items could be up here in the kitchen area. And the rear, you could have personal items, clothes, uh, bedding, etc. You know. These all have doors on them with locking mechanisms and the shock arms. They just close, latch, you just push it, twist it, lift it to open. So these won't open while you're driving, none of your stuff's going to fall out. This is the galley kitchen. So on the galley we decided, you know, a fridge. This is a Novacool 2600R. It's a DC fridge, so it runs strictly on battery power. It's got an ice tray and this other part's a refrigerator. Um, it's kind of small, but it, it, it fits the van. Uh, what, 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 what's good about it is, is because it's small, it gives us a, a extra room up here for a nice slide out drawer, you know. On this refrigeration unit, you know, we built it up off the floor. It's got fresh air flow through the bottom of the unit, behind the unit, and there's a vent on the side of the van, I mean the cabinet over here, that'll enable the hot air to um, go out. Uh, these three bank of drawers, Kind of just, I had an overall dimension to kind of work with so I could accommodate her sink, her fridge, and these three drawers is kind of what's left over. So you've got three full extension drawers here. These are on eight inch boxes. You know, you could put a number of items in here, but it could be, you know, canned goods, box goods, pots, pans, plates, whatever. And with three drawers, you know, it gives her plenty of storage. Same latching mechanisms. These aren't the soft closed slides, but they're just full extension basic slides, you know. It's an option if you want to get, uh, you know, a fancier slide, we could definitely do something like that. Also note that all the grains are cut out of one, one piece of wood, so they're book matched and all the grains line up. So for the countertop, it's a solid surface from Wilson Art, half inch thick. It's, it's really durable and um, relatively affordable. So we cut this countertop to fit this, finished all the edges, polished it up. With the remaining strip that we had, we, we made a backsplash for it. Um, up here, I got a Dometic sink. It's a round sink with a folding faucet. So it's nice, you got a lot of prep area. When you want the sink, you open the sink, fold the faucet up. This is actually a pump switch, it turns the pump on. Now we got running water. When you're done, you just turn the pump off. As far as supplying water to the sink, relatively simple. I have a five gallon fresh water tank and a five gallon gray water tank. But you really just got to monitor it, fill your fresh up, note when it gets full, pull them out and just dump them. Uh, we put a fire extinguisher in here just for safety's sakes, as well as a carbon CO2 detector. And it still gives her plenty of room in the sink base. You can put a trash can and some cleaning items and whatnot in there. Let's, let's look more at this backsplash here. There's a lot going on. I've kind of got 12 volt um, cigarette lighter USB right here. 
and a 110 outlet right here so she can charge any number of devices use 12 volt appliances and if and when she turns the inverter on or plugs into shore these outlets will become hot I've got another one in the back I'll show you a little later uh, over here I've really got the magnum inverter uh, monitor system the switch for the water pump the LED lights on a dimmer switch this is the max air remote and cradle so you got a little place to keep it I'll turn the fan, fan down a little bit nice thing is is once I close all these uh, doors and crack that ventilation window you're gonna notice a tremendous amount of airflow coming through the van so having good airflow from the front of the van to the rear of the van or if you had venting windows in the rear and the fan was more toward the front you kind of want to configure your van for maximum airflow well, we'll just leave that running I'm gonna turn on the lights note that I have it on the switch what we did is we went with six surface mounted LED puck lights I guess staying up front here this is the uh, ceiling assembly for the Coleman Mach 8 we added a heater kit for it so you're gonna get heat you're gonna get air conditioning it's also a fan too so you can blow air um, and circulate air in here uh, I guess in combination with it with the max fan so what I got here is a small base unit we made and it's for a, uh, a portable toilet system this is actually the luggable um, luggable loo it's like basically a five gallon bucket you put a liner in there with a toilet seat and uh, a lid now I just have a strap in here to kind of hold it secure while you're traveling but it'd be easy to uh, just unstrap it, kind of have it in this position and literally sit right there. So it doesn't have to be pulled out. It won't take up a lot of space. We do plumbing, we do showers, we do a number of different items. You know, different things are gonna appeal to certain people and, and I guess costs are one of the main concerns. So it just depends on what your budget is. On this side, what I got is, this is basically a bench seat. There'll be cushions that the owner's gonna do so you know I would cushion all this if, if it were something I was doing everything in but we're gonna leave that up to her so this could actually be a seat on this side a seat on that side and what the nice thing is is this lagoon table you know enables me to have a place to sit and actually have two people sitting here this pivots it also adjusts in height and raises and lowers so no matter where you put it no matter how tall you are kind of fit you this same table system works on the back side of that kitchenette I opted to buy two brackets using the same table and it works in both positions the bed sits on these aluminum rails there's two platforms that sit here that split in the middle and the, the platforms are fit all the way to the rear door so from the rear door to this um, end of the bed here is, is six foot plus or minus I think it's about six foot or six foot one and then this elevated platform bed will sit at about I think approximately 30 plus or minus inches uh, I guess on this other bench seat what you see is this is where all the electronics are this is your AC DC fuse panel easy to access all your 12 volt fuses on one side all your AC breakers on the other side This switch here basically controls this panel. I can turn it on and off. It also turns the inverter on and off. The inverter's got a monitoring system that's from Victron Energy. This is a BMV uh, 712 uh, battery monitor with temp sensor. Um, so I've set it up for this van, opening up this electrical cabinet. Inside here is the heart and the brain of the whole system. Um, there's a lot going on in a little space but you can see that electronics do take up a certain amount of space it depends on what you're actually putting in there so what we went with was an AGM lifeline 255 amp hour battery this is a magnum uh, I think it's a 2012 um, inverter it's also a battery charger automatic transfer switch um, for the solar charge controller it's up here in the front it's a Victron Energy MPPT 
100 20 amp system then I use a Blue C automatic charging relay from the alternator and everything else is the fuses, switches and the protection that it needs and all the wires for the system. Some of the other beds that I do, you know, this could actually have a filler or some way of attaching these two benches to make another full bed underneath here. And a high roof it's a better scenario because you could have this bed up higher, the platform bed still having these two benches down low so you could have sleeping for two below sleeping for two above looking at the finishes on the wall this is just really an MDF quarter inch with white melamine you know it comes pre-finished most of the time anything we like to use if, if it's pre-finished it's easier to put in you don't have to you know paint it finish it um, it's already got the finish on it same with our plywood we use it's it's a double sided this is a birch veneer but it is solid plywood you know with a finish on the inside we just we just router and sand these edges and polyurethane a lot of times edge banding and t-molding it just doesn't hold up to what what the van and the interior temperatures are going to you know be so i think it's a nice finish this is a green product made in America I like it I like it. it's good stuff I source it locally uh, looking back here you know when she's in bed she's gonna have two LED relay lights one on this side one on this side and I've kind of got a small docking station here it's got the same outlets that you see right there it's a 12 volt a dual USB and a 110 good thing is I take something like this plug it in I got a little place to dock some small devices uh, another finish that we use is is, is is this vinyl trim that wraps these door frames kind of transition between the walls and ceiling and are wrapped around the uh, door jams and different parts of the van it's really hard to trim those out but we find that you know using a quarter inch foam with some type of vinyl that's spray glued to it you know applying it behind the rubber trim and then reapplying the rubber trim over it so it's a nice finish between wall this hard area to kind of cover and then put the rubber back on there <laughs> we're blue ridge adventure vehicles check us out on facebook instagram youtube our website Feel free to call us anytime.